Hello dear Titanic modelers. Uh, in this short video I would like to focus on um, different configurations and connections of different this, um, electric uh, components of my MSN uh, Titanic Hull Support MSN uh, kit from light or in this case for the battery pack it's in the pro version where it's more options and configurations are possible. Okay, uh, in each MSN Pro kit, uh, the central part where you have like got get together all power uh, input sources and output this uh, battery uh, compartment. And of course our main idea in this case to supply the power to this uh, MSN uh, circuit board. Yeah, so what power in uh, options do we have? Uh, first of all, on this unit itself, you have uh, four triple A battery pack. And so here's this outlet uh, output of this whole module. And here you have like input. And this which actually switch between, so in this position to this side, and I mean, it's written battery here. It's take power from this battery pack and here you have output of the power from the battery pack. If you switch it to this position, it will take whatever power, disconnect battery pack and take power from this, let's say, input and provide it right here. Okay, so first, as already said, options, this four batteries uh, pack. This is option one for power supply. And at the same time, it's internal because it's installed in this case inside the hull. So you can completely hull, uh, close the hull and you don't need any external power supply in this case. Okay, option two, we actually would be this uh, magnetic cable, which I also provide as an add-on and which you could install this magnetic connector on a whole surface, looking outside the whole surface, and actually later just simply a very easy way to connect the cable. So you don't need any more any uh, connector or whatever. Let's make it very easily and at the same time also very safety. Because if you take your Titanic from uh, your base or whatever and you forget to disconnect this cable, nothing would happen because it's relatively strong connection but nevertheless if you a little bit push it it's disconnected so you so you will not uh, accidentally drop your model that's also a matter of safety and if you install this option in your hole so when you later connect and you see it's also pin and hole and red and uh, positive negative wire so what you do you connect it to this input yeah so that's like that and you need to switch to this direction. Now, here you will have power which you take from this USB connection. So USB connection cable, this is, let's say, second option for power supply holds the system. Uh, third option would be, some of you already ordered this, that would be this wireless energy transfer, so this wireless charger model. Here, uh, which is located in this hatch for this hole which you should cut in uh, Titanic hole and this is receiver model and again so if you install that you should connect it to this input of this battery holding model again it's very easy you will not uh, be able to connect it in the wrong uh, polarity because it's been whole it's complementary again so and in this case again it should be in this direction this switch and it in this case it will take uh, power from this model of course you will need uh, which is also provided this emitter which should be something like maximum one centimeter from these receivable rings okay so this is the third option for power supply what uh, power and uh, now we need to provide power to this so first options if you don't use this remote on off switch model yeah which is also uh, add-on you can simply connect here it's also again very easy plus to the pin 
minus to the whole. And in this way, you connected uh, your circuit board directly to the output of this central power supply module. Yeah? So if you uh, have um, this uh, remote on off switch, so it comes with this connection cable and here on, on this module you also very nicely see, for example, you have really nicely uh, so marked so this input and output. So what you do, you connect, again you will not miss because it's pin hole, so you will always be able to connect it in the uh, right polarity. And again here you connect to this output of this power module. Yeah, so that's we connected it. And now you could connect again. So pin to the hole and hole to the pin. So you connect your power supply. So in this case, you could now switch to the battery to take power from this battery pack. And as you could see, yeah, so it's now working. Okay, you don't have, so yeah, it's, you see, it's, this LED is blink is red, so it's it's working now. And now switched off. Um, as already mentioned, for example, in a video regarding to my must LED sets, one option which I provide also now with this first uh, components of my Titanic external light set. So this splitter, this power, let's say splitter. And uh, what we could do here, you again pin holes, so you will never miss. Yeah, so you can either, if you don't use this remote control module, you can either connect it directly to output of this module. Yeah, and in this case, you have like possibility to connect up to five uh, power. So, for example, you can connect to one of them this. Uh, circuit board and if you want to connect yeah so this is like connected independently and if you want to connect for example two masts so this is this uh, mast connection model you can now simply go and connect to other free and it's again pinhole so you will never miss and you can the same connect second model so that's why if you like to have um, this um, masts uh, connected independently from uh, your circuit uh, ma magic scale model uh, modeling uh, circuit board or of course later well when other components of my uh, titanic external lights comes like this uh, entrance signs so lamps for promenade deck for board deck and for maybe also for flag mast that of course would already be anyway necessary to connect in parallel so independently from uh, magic scale uh, board because magic scale modeling board has no in this case connection for this external component it has only connection to for the mast leds because they included also in their kit so that's all later again so if you use in your if you also have this remote switch model you connect first let's say remote switch model and then you connect this uh, power splitter to this model yeah so that's how does it let's say work and uh, already there you again connect all external power uh, units which require the power uh, just here, I will only shortly now show how to install. So this is a central three sections actually. Where do you have? So here we have, yeah, this our power unit. So here this uh, this niche for this remote switch. Here we have a niche for holder for this circuit board. And for example, what you could do here, okay, I can now take them, not, not to disturb. Yeah. 
I also design it in a way so because together with this splitter you have this support platform and two screws. So idea what you do here you just go and yeah, the screw just a moment and carefully just install it and simply uh -huh. I don't know, need to take screw this driver and just yep. and this is the way how do you put this uh, this splitter yeah I will not put it completely but you and you fix it with two screws and it will in this case sit very nicely and stably sit very nicely and stably here and in the same time as you see it's enough uh, this cable is enough to connect it either to uh, remote switch on off which is located here or here it will be outlet from this power supply model so it's installed like that yeah so this is how to install this um, multiple um, power supply splitter yeah so this is then options what how you can three options how you can get power supply to your uh, to the system and how to connect this main board or another um, power um, units which requires uh, the electric power and also how to install this uh, power splitter okay so you are welcome to get into my group the address you see now and uh, if you have further any questions please do not hesitate to write me pm or write